Secret Archives of the Vatican has been making music for about 30 years and for a big chunk of that time we have explored our interest in various forms of electronica but with a strong Middle Eastern, Turkish, Arabian, Indian subcontinent, Central Asian set of influences. All the way through though there has been a little element of more kind of European folkiness and medieval music. We've done actual medieval tunes on one or two of our early releases. 2019, 2020, 2021 was a period in which I discovered the music of bands like Wadruna, Heilung, Eldream, Neatland, Darnheim. A lot of bands with their roots in Northern European traditions. Kind of folky, but not really folk music. Hard to define. Either way, I absolutely love it. And of course, brought that in fully into what Secret Archives of the Vatican does, because that's how we've always worked, really. We hear something, we like it, we bring in elements of it. So, I've done a few releases along those lines. But the thing is, when you bring something new in or change something, you're always going to piss off one or two of your longer term fans and followers. And I think that's happened. But one of the key things we've always said is we are not a genre band. We've never been able to kind of say what style of music it is that we do. We've never been able to do that. And if we've had an underlying message to potential fans, it's get to know us and follow us and our musical journey. It's not a specific genre because anything can happen. I'm a member of one or two musician communities and quite recently in one of them, the person running it had a look at our online social media presence because I'd flagged up some questions and he summarised what we do as medieval drum and bass, which it's kind of completely wrong, really, but there's an element of, of truth in there. There is a medieval folky element, and there's always been a big drum and bass element. So, I often just run with an idea that presents itself. I picked up the idea, and I wrote a bunch of tracks, which basically mix that pre-medieval, early medieval, Norse, Celtic, neo-folk sound with drum and bass beats. And we've already started releasing some singles. I am very happy with them. So at the beginning of April, 2022, I'm gonna batch up the singles that have been released, release it as an album. There are some extras on there as well. The album is gonna be called Drums of a Dark Age. If you get the Bandcamp version, as I said, there are some extras, a couple of extra tracks at least. And the only reason there as extras and not part of the main album release is that they don't have drum and bass beats but sonically and texturally and subject wise and whatever they totally fit just they're not quite on target so they're in as extras drums of a dark age is i think a great little album it will be available on all the usual streaming and download sites and i hope you'll stream it download it listen to it i hope you'll like it We've already recorded a whole batch of tracks that will follow that, and they're going in a slightly different direction. I'm tying in with the prequel, sequel to Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power, which is due out in September, I think. And I've done a series of tracks that are on Tolkien themes, but once again, very much with a kind of medieval, rootsy, earthy quality to them, which I think fits the subject matter. Anyway, you'll hear about those in due course. In the meantime, Drums of a Dark Age is due out at the beginning of April. Thanks very much.